Wow, the market has changed a lot and quickly. We've gone from a high median sales price of 1.72 million in April down to 1.5 million in June. In May, 80% of homes sold above list price compared to 39% in June. Sounds terrible, right? Well, it's not. Far from it. Last month, my word of the month was perspective. Well, I think it's gonna be my word of the quarter, if not for the next six months. Yes, the market has softened. There's a lot more inventory, prices have come down, the number of homes selling quickly for multiple offers has declined. However, prices are still 10% higher than they were this time last year. And in June 2021, prices were a whopping 40% higher than in June 2020. So buyers are still paying a lot more for houses today than they were two years ago. And homeowners have built up record equity gains on their home. Two questions that I'm asked a lot. If prices are decreasing, why should buyers buy today instead of waiting? The short answer is to get a better home. It's way easier to be a successful buyer today than it has been for the past several years. Buyers have a ton more choice. They can take their time, in some cases several days or even weeks to make a decision. They can write an offer with reasonable contingencies such as financing, inspection and, appra and appraisal. And finally, timing the bottom of the market is near impossible. I don't recommend it. My mantra to buyers today, marry the house, date the rate. Interest rates will almost certainly lower a bit in the future, and when they do, refinancing will lower your payments. And if they don't, in the long term, your home will continue to appreciate. Question number two, is it a terrible time to sell? Absolutely not. Have sellers missed the peak of the market? Yes, but that's as impossible to time as timing the bottom of the market but it's far from a bad time to sell. We're in a far more balanced market, which is better for everybody. In June, more homes sold above list price than the number of homes that sold at list price. In fact, almost twice, twice as many homes. There's fewer people visiting each home, but those buyers that are, are serious about buying. And it only takes one buyer. There's still a strong possibility that sellers might receive multiple offers, but, and sellers can still expect to sell their homes in a reasonable time frame, 30 days or less and get somewhere between 96 to 98% of the list price. That doesn't sound terrible to me. That's it from me today. As ever, I hope this information helps you make informed decisions. If I can be of any help as you consider your options for buying or selling, please get in touch. This is Ali Mills with Windermere's Ali Mills Group.